Taylor Myers, Gentry Schaefer, big win tonight over East Mills to start the season. A really good East Mills team you guys beat tonight. What's it mean to start the year with a win? It feels really good. I mean, we started off really slow, but we've built our momentum yeah. up in the end there. And it was a really close game, but it was a lot of fun. You mentioned kind of the slow start. You guys lost the first set, I think 25-11. What was the difference maker going into that second set? The second set, we were talking a lot more. And I think our the first set, our nerves kind of got out. So then the second set, we just like, talked more. Yeah, Gentry, they kind of took you out of that first set, and then it seemed like you were able to find something there in the second and the third set. What was the difference for you in those final two sets? The first set, I wasn't really um, attacking as much, and then the second and third set, you know, I was like, okay, just hit it, and it'll all go good, and it did, so. Kaylee, you had a big run there in the second set. Just what were you seeing out there offensively? Um, well, everyone was just working together a lot better. We had our passes up, like the sets were amazing, and we were just ready to play. I think Isabel had 25 total assists. She was getting the ball to you guys a lot. Uh, just tell me about her night. She did really good. Yeah. And she did really good on listening to if we wanted quicks or if she wanted just regular sets. It's great how open she is. Like, she'll do what we want. So yeah. it's, really, it's really nice. Is this an ideal way to start the season? A win over a state ranked East Mills team and then a <laughs> pretty dominant win against Essex? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, what's what's the goals this year as you guys look ahead? I know it's still early, first matches of the season, but have you guys talked about goals this year? Um, well, last year we were second in POI, yeah, so, so sure, for sure first. Yeah, yeah. POI champs. That's one of our goals, I guess. Yeah. Just got to keep working hard. Coach, start the season off with a pair of wins over a really good East Mills team and then a dominant win over Essex. Uh, just what are your thoughts tonight? Um, well, I'm glad that we came back after set one against East Mills and, and kind of played more our volleyball. Uh, I still think that, you know, we weren't playing as well as we could be, um, but to fight through that adversity and, and to beat them um, was great because set one was just not good at all. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about set one. 13 errors in that. They beat you guys 25-11. What did you tell your team yeah. going into set two to lift the fire? Um, uh, first, we talked about if there was anything going on, if any, any disputes happened at school today because they just weren't acting like themselves. Um, they told me that nothing had happened, um, so we just said, then, who are you? Because you are not the team that's been in the gym uh, since, since August 1. So I think that just knowing they could do better and kind of fighting those jitters, I'm sure they were nervous that first set, but we just made you know, 13 unforced errors is a lot. That's 13 points um, that we could have had. So. We just tried to keep lighting the fire under them, and um, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I got after them. I, I'm not going to deny that, but that's that's my coaching style. When things aren't going well, you know, I'm not afraid to get after them, and and so they they picked it up and turned it around. Big nights from Kaylee and Gentry. Uh, just tell me a little bit about their nights. Uh, yeah, Gentry. You know, we 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 always expect her to have a good night. Um, you know, she runs quick tempo offense in the middle. She hits hard. Again, she has a, a high volleyball IQ, and so when that blocks up, she knows uh, where to go with that ball. She can see the court well. Kaylee's just a dang hard hitter. She hits the ball super hard. Um, she also runs a lot of slides and stuff, which she's she's great at. So that, that helps a lot. I mean, we look for those two to, to kind of carry us each night. It's no secret that East Mills has maybe one of the, the most powerful hitters in the area with Alex Cano. She kind of had spurts tonight, but what were you guys trying to do to prevent her from really going off? Yeah, we knew um, that we had to slow her down. And to slow her down, we had to get touches off the block uh, when she she was hitting. So I thought we did, for the most part, a good good job with that. Um, a lot of them were kind of coming down in front of us, which just tells me that we need to, to press over the net a little a little better. Um, we've been, you know, incorporating the swing blocking into um, our practices and stuff, and I felt like that was kind of slowing us down a little bit. Um, so we kind of called Delaney off that and just had her kind of set over there. And I think that that, that helped us get touches on those balls as well. I know it's still early in the season, but you got two wins under your belt now. Is there anything you really want to work on maybe over the weekend as we get into the swing of things? Um, passing. Passing and defense for sure. Um, you know, if we, if we can't pass the ball up to our sitter, we're not going to run much offense. So we're just going to keep hitting, hitting our passing. Um, you know, hitting-wise, I think we're good. Um, those girls know how to hit, and so we're just going to work, work passing, defense, to receive.